Okay, our video today is going to talk about Hurricane Sandy emergency management response. And as a case study, we're using um, New York City's portion of Hurricane Sandy. We were hired by crisis informatics students to create a tool that could be utilized by first responders and help allocate resources during a natural disaster. Uh, some of the ways we were going to do that is uh, create icons that could help uh, responders find certain areas and uh, see on a map where vulnerable areas were to damage. Uh, some of the inspiration that we got from the map was some previous maps uh, to include FEMA who gave us surge data and some of the point data that we used in our map. And then NOAA provided us with satellite imagery for the before and after images of Hurricane Sandy. So a couple of papers that we used were Joyce, who wrote about satellite imagery and its use for response during uh, all cycles of emergency management. Uh, another one was Harrower, who talked about complexity. So we created a bunch of icons and then we could toggle them on and off so it didn't complicate the map all at once. Uh, and then the last one was Roth uh, where he talked about usability. So he has five main he has five components of usability and we focused on three for a map, ease of learning, efficiency of use, and memorability. So we we had some data acquired which were one and three meter storm surge data evacuation centers, police precincts, fire stations, and hospitals. That's it, Rob. Yeah. All right, so in the live demo portion of our video, we have our uh, map application uh, focused on the New York City area. Um, we can zoom in here and show our fairly detailed street map taken from Mapbox, um, allowing us to to get a closer look at um, the different point data that we're about to show. So we'll start with our evacuation centers. Uh, as you can see, the symbols just popped up, um, as well as fire stations, police precincts, hospitals, evacuation zones, and then our one and three meter storm surge data. Um, so as we zoom in a little bit more, um, you'll notice that each symbol corresponds to a different type of um, emergency response area. The first thing we've clicked on here is the police precincts. Um, you'll get a the police precinct number, the address, coordinates, and uh, a phone number. Uh, all useful information for an emergency responder on the ground. Uh, the next one we've clicked on here is hospitals. You'll get the name of the hospital along with its address and its patient capacity. Um, which will help emergency responders properly allocate resources. We also have fire stations here um, with the engine and ladder numbers, uh, their address, as well as GPS coordinates. So as we zoom out and turn off all the layers, uh, we've also added a satellite imagery feature which will allow emergency responders to visually compare the damage um, using a slider tool here of, of before and after images of the affected areas. This will allow emergency responders to get a, a visual of which areas were affected the most and the least, allowing them to properly allocate resources to the areas that needed the most.